And God bless you, God bless you. You're welcome to the Father's house. I am Michael Favor, and my goal is to help you live the best life that God intended for you. When you was created, God made you in a certain way. He gave you a certain gift. But what happens is when we come into this world, we get told you have to wear pink, you have to wear blue, you can't do your hair like this, you can't. So your individuality, your identity, who you are, is suppressed, is pushed down by us, by parents, by friends. I'm here to talk to you today to help you to realise that your true identity is you are a god. Oh! <laughs> you guys get that, you get that, you get that, you get that. Listen to me. God said he created you in his image. If you look at somebody's son on the road, you see that they look. And if you know somebody personally, or a child personally, or if you've got your own child, you know that there's certain tendencies, there's certain act um, behaviours that they display. And you think, I used to be like that. Learn to be like God today. Oh, my lights. Learn to be like God today. I'm going to leave it off because... Learn to be like God today. Learn, learn. Do you mind if I... I hope you don't mind. I've still got my... Um, gym clothes on from yesterday <laughs> so I had to wear double double t-shirt you know double t-shirt just to stay warm that's an important thing guys when you come out of the gym when you come out because I was doing hot and cold treatment we're coming with that we're coming with that we're coming with that well I'll be coming with that brand new channel about health and it's going to be called now you the new you, the best you. I'm still deciding, I'm still deciding what we're gonna do. I'm gonna to listen to the Holy Spirit and he would tell me, but I have been eating in a certain way and I've seen results, not in months, in, in about a week. I lost, anyway, let's not get into that. I lost, I lost quite a bit of weight. Not, 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 not like because, you know, I build muscle, but I lost the weight on my belly. Because you know how pounded yama, yeah, yeah, all them things there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll come to that. Let's focus on what we're talking about today. Your true identity. What is it, your true identity? When the devil came up to Jesus, no, it's the first question he asked. If you are the son of God, when 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 Jesus went to the John the Baptist and and he and he you know he he baptized him and he saw the Holy Spirit come and land on him and there was a great voice that says, "This is my beloved, who I am pleased with." Ah. Uh -uh. Think about it. If you read carefully, that's why I'm here. You're thinking, ah, read all of that. <laughs> Don't worry, that's why I'm here, to make it simple, to make it understandable, to let, allow you to know who you are. You are a God. Psalm 82, verse 7, you are a God. If it is not right, please don't kill me. Oh. Please. I didn't go to Bible school. I just hear and I say, but you are a God. You have the ability to create your day to day. You have the ability to create whatever comes into your mind. That's why we see unbelievers, because Christians, ah, I got an idea. Let me go and fast uh, 40 days first. By that 40 days, that idea is no more. You have to move, you have to execute. When the Holy Spirit speaks, immediately move. Move. Don't just be a hearer of the word. The book of James talks about it. Don't just listen. Uh -uh. 
Hold on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have to be careful what you are watching. This is a portal. As soon as my video goes on, it goes on as soon as I watch my video because I need to learn. The prophet and the man are two different people. I need to learn. I need to learn. I want, I want, I want to know what the Holy Spirit is saying. You will know. You will know if this is genuine. But there are some fake, many fake, the Bible says, many fake prophets, pastors, and evangelists have gone out. They're already amongst us. They already have big church. Don't say, ah, a prophet, because you haven't got big church and you are trying to know. I would never, like David, I would never ever touch a man of God without God's consent. Because if you touch a man, hey, look, God doesn't mess about with his prophets, you know. He doesn't play. They are his children, you know. We devote our lives to him. And we go through a lot of abuse, people being ungrateful, people saying that I use black magic, it must be my ring on my hand, the way I heal people, the way I... Look, if you have any questions, make sure you place a comment. Don't just be a, a, a listener, oh, I heard it, so uh, yeah, I've done my part, but um, no. You have to be a doer. That's what prophet is, a doer. He's a doer. His character is doing. His, his ability to do, that's what makes him a prophet. God said, if you receive a prophet, you will receive what that prophet says. If you receive the man or woman as a prophet, be careful. There are many that are prophesying on YouTube. And God said to me, there is only two prophets in this land, let me tell you. You but angel is one and I'm the second one. Everybody else, God didn't call them. Come on, find me if you want to. Bro. That's my um, alarm to wake, to make sure that I'm up to talk to God. But I don't need to, you know, like the angels will wake me up. Ah, uh -uh, who is that? I'll go to my clock, three o'clock on the spot. Whilst others are sleeping, train your body, train your mind. Even if it's 10 minutes, get up. Walk around your room, decree, today is my best day. Today is a new chapter. Today I will win. Today I will be successful. Go back to sleep. The next day you will do a little uh, 11 minutes, 12 minutes. Today is a decree as a God. God said, let there be light. I am saying in your mind, as you watch this, as you come into contact with me, as, you, as, as my voice leaves your device and enters your soul, you will be a winner. No weapon, remember. And in every situation, it is working for your good. Look, I've always said to you that, um, give me 10 minutes. Sometimes we have talks, obviously, half hour, maybe an hour. However long the Holy Spirit tells me to do it. I'm doing it for you. But I'm not doing it by you. You see my voice? <laughs> because I mean, uh, look, I'm going to get some rest. Um, pray for me. Pray for me. If you love me, you will pray for me. <laughs> if you love me, you will pray for me. Um, Daddy Favor and, and Baby Favor are doing well. I think we've got Uncle uh, Thomas coming soon. So check out the Favor Bank. There's so much in there. So much, so much. Check out the motivational stuff that is big. First thing in the morning, bang it on while you're doing your, you know, your hair and your makeup. It's whatever you take in is what comes out. God bless you. I love you. I'm going to stick to my time today. <laughs> and you will shine.
היפהפה הזה.